Hi guys, it's Lynn with Soft Squares. Today is Saturday, March 23rd, 2023, which means it's time for the Saturday situation where we talk about all things quilting in my world. Thank you for joining me. Um, this is a weekly video where I talk about pretty much anything that's going on with me. And right now my whole life is consumed by quilting. So it's supposed to be quilting related and that's like all I could think of anyway. So that's all you're going to get. A little update on my arm. It is tired. So I actually have a specialized pillow here kind of just holding my arm in place. I think I used it in a way I wasn't supposed to use it. So it's just needing a break. So I'm sitting on the couch <laughs> and I'm doing my situation from the couch. So um, you guys have probably seen some of these. These were little tiny little um, one block things that were mostly out of samplers for um, monthly subscription boxes. And I just decided to make them and then hang each one of them. So I have this wall that has that and I used to have a bunch. And I still have some on my design wall, which happens to be right across the room from here. So I'm in the same room I usually am in, just sitting down. All right, so I have notes that I just misplaced. Okay, where did they go? There we go. Um, exciting news, I have, my new website is up and running. It, has a lot of bugs in it um meaning things that i'm not happy with that we're just tweaking so but in general it's usable it is really good hopefully you guys like it better they were not able to transfer any account information from the old system to the new system so if you have been on my website which is softsquares.com you will need to create an account again and uh, I am doing a newsletter and I'll be honest, I'm not sure if when you create or go add yourself to the mailing list, if it's the same as creating an account. I'm going to guess it's not. Um, so still learning how all that works. <laughs> there are be people signing up already. So that's, that's a good thing. It does work. So there is that. Now I do have a winner to announce for my 6,000 subscriber uh, drawing that I'm doing. I will do that in a little bit. So don't worry. I will get back to that. And I have the winner. Um, I used a, a random a program that does random selecting and I'll show you uh, how that had come out. So we're going to still be doing our Monday sales every Friday. Sorry. I want to say Friday, but it's five. F. <laughs> every Monday at five live at five is what I'm calling it and I'm in mountain time zone so obviously it's different wherever you are if you're not in mountain but every Monday at five o'clock unless we're out of town and there that will happen once in a while and I can't do it then uh, but plan on it okay so if you go to soft squares um, you'll see it pop up I am not techie or savvy computer savvy so I don't have the preview buttons listed like some other youtubers haven't quite figured that out however my new website if you go on there there is a button at the very beginning when you first go on there that says uh, live sales if you click on that it redirects you to youtube to the page where um, the live sales will populate and will be and you can see the the old ones that are there so every monday night just go to YouTube or go to softsquares.com and get to it through there. So hopefully you can get to it easier. I've also got um, a reoccurring event on Facebook through my group there. That's the same thing where it just pops up every Monday and then you just click on that link and it directs you back to YouTube to the area where the live feed will pop up when it, it does go live. And if, it's not a time for that to be happening then you'll just get to see all the old videos and you're welcome to watch those so monday's lives are fun it's where we're doing we spend about an hour and a half i do try to get on early so i'm ready but i don't start the sale until top of the hour but i want to make it to an hour and 15 minutes hour and 30 at the most and be done so if you guys haven't done that yet please join me i just want the people that I know <laughs> to come and watch what we're doing and get feedback for you from you. But my 
my dog is barking. My video, my, my, um, fabric is really reasonably priced and everything I have on softsquares.com, you can, um, get ahead of myself. So you can add things from the website to your order when you purchase stuff from the live. So we'll send you an email with how to check out. And at that point, you can add more to it if you see something in the website. But the things that I do on the live sale are typically things that are not available on the website. And if they are, their pricing is a little different or it's a very limited thing that I want to um, show you guys. So it's different or should be different. Okay. Uh, you guys, I would asked you for some feedback on a quilt I was working on last week. I'll be honest, it is still in the exact same position. We have been so overwhelmed and so busy trying to deal with just fulfilling orders from the live sale. And I did some things wrong. <laughs> it took me a little bit longer to deal with some stuff. And then just dealing with the website, getting it up and down. There's so much stuff going on. The old one got getting down and the new one coming up. So I've been very, very, very busy not doing anything but website stuff, really. And I have not quilted, although I have decided the wildflower quilt, the quilt that was on the wall for like six months before that, I started working on it. I even started making a video on it. Someday it will get posted. But I do not like the sashing. And I actually made all the sashing pieces. And I have decided I don't like them. So I went through it and figured out how I'm going to do it with the fabric that I have. And I will show you that next week. So I've got those two projects and hopefully they'll be a little farther along than they are. And they might even be like a full top, <laughs> quilt top. So, um, I am doing, uh, quilts of valor donations. I've talked about this before. There are quilts of valor cha chapters all over the country and it is a program to give veterans, um, a quilt to show the, our appreciation for them. And these are typically older people. A lot of them came from Vietnam, not all, but there was such a hard time when they came back from that where they didn't feel appreciated. This really means a lot to all of them, but especially if you get someone from that era, it, it's a big deal. So I'm in touch with a gal in Minnesota. I'm so sorry I said that. Michigan. Did I get the M states? wrong side of the state of Wisconsin, anyway, Michigan, who does not have access to local quilt stores there. And so she, um, I asked her if she could use some help and I have been collecting fabric for her. And several of you have sent fabric to me and you're welcome to continue to do that. She has now provided me with an actual physical address so you can mail it directly to her. And that information is going to be in the listing below and she's really good about sending out thank you letters however i'm really bad at giving her all the information she needs when i am forwarding the stuff so i will continue to forward forward stuff but if you sent me fabric for her and you haven't heard from her it's because i screwed up and i know there's two of you i think one of you has already reached out to me <laughs> if you haven't heard from pat um in michigan about quilts of valor uh, just know we mean to, and I need you to contact me so we can remember who it is I missed, that I lost, left out. But if you send your fabric directly to her, you don't have that problem. <laughs> and if you want to send it to me, I am still collecting and I will keep doing that. But in addition to the fabric, I'm going to read to you some of the stuff that she had, had given me in our little correspondence. Um, let's see here. Where did it go? Okay. So um, she says, we have a couple of ladies that can put squares together for quilt tops. Uh, and they really appreciate the donations. I wanted to get 15 quilts done this year, but with the pre-made, but with pre-made squares, we could do more. I am going to be doing a, a, Quilt of Valor block challenge and we're going to send these on to her which will help her so that's what she's talking about here so if we can s collect the blocks and forward them on to her then she can get more quilts done so um she said she hit a nurse i hit a nursing home working with us um to 
to give them names on the vets in the nursing home who might have been overlooked and they actually got a lot of names so and it's quite a deal or ordeal she had sent me a video which she can't publicly post due to privacy issues but she'll share it with anyone that wants it so just uh just know it's out there and it's it, it, you can ask me for it but the point is is this video it's an actual ceremony where they present the quilt of valor quilt to the veteran and it is not a gift it is an award it is registered they get a certificate and everything with it so it's a formal presentation and so she has a um, a video that's available privately to see how that is presented and and you know it's just really really cool thing so we are doing a block roundup okay so she, in addition to fabric she will always take fabric um she also needs notions she needs everything because she herself is providing the stuff for the few people that are helping so i have sent her a bunch of thread i have sent her a ton of fabric i I'm forwarding stuff you guys sent me. I sent her 108 backing because that's all that they will use on their backing. Um, her husband does the long arming, by the way. Isn't that sweet? So trying to help them out as much as we can. And it, it's a charitable donation. So that's part of what the, the letter is that she sends back to you to thank you is to let you know you can write that off on your taxes if that helps you. But we're going to do a block. We're going to make these blocks and then you're going to send them directly to her and that address is the same address that will be below but i want to show you the block that we're going to make and i happen to have it on my computer screen and let's see if i can do this <laughs> it is that block right there and it, they're all half square triangles and squares okay so i will send the pattern out to you um, I'm going to see if there's a way I can post the pattern somewhere. I bet I can put it on my Facebook page, maybe. Um, I didn't think this through, so I don't know how I would get it to you. So the point is, if you want to participate, comment, and I'll figure out how to get the pattern to you. And if I am able to post it in a public space where you can just go grab it, I will let you guys know where that goes. But right now, just email me and I'll email it back to you. So it has very good detailed instructions on how to put the blocks together. You will use your own fabrics and we're all going to make the blocks the same size and you can make as many of them as you want. They just have to be usable for the quilts of valor quilts. And so it needs to be in the patriotic colors. And let's see here. Now, in the mailing address that she gives us, we're actually going to be mailing the items directly to her church. The church is who has the chapter for the Quilts of Valor. And um, we can mail things there. Part of the address is going to have an SS in it. And SS stands for soft squares. So that tells her where the stuff came from and she keeps track of it. And then she will let us know how our donations were. And there are a couple other people that she's done that with and it works really well. So don't forget the SS so she knows that you are coming through soft squares. Um, but that will be kind of fun. So they need fabric. They need squares, panels, 108 fabric, tools, notions. We can use it all. We have a great need. That's exactly her wording right there. And she could give us a list uh, of, yeah. There are, there are other patterns out there. If you go to Quilt of Valor, sorry, www.govf, so Quilt O-V-F, Q-O-V-F. Ignore me. I will put this link in the description below. It's actually a long link, but that link will give you, I'm going to put that in the description. That will, that takes you to this pattern that I would give you. So I'll still give it to you if you need it, but the link for the pattern will be in the description, but there's also another longer link that takes you to Quilts of Valor where you can see a bunch of different patterns. So if you personally would like to make a, enough patterns to go on a block or, or to go on a quilt or work with some other ladies that together to make sure she gets enough 
blocks of the same block, you can certainly make other blocks. She just needs to be able to make quilts. So if we send her a bunch of random stuff, it will be a little hodgepodgey, which is not um, what I want to send to her. So we're going to use this main pattern I had just shown you. If you have some others that you're interested in, um, just make sure that uh, we're getting enough out there. And if, if I need to, I can announce that we're going to do a different block. And maybe that's the way to do it, too. Different times, different blocks. Okay, don't forget I have the swap group in the Facebook uh, group. And there is a, um, on Facebook, there's also a quilting, Soft Squares Quilting with Lynn group. So those two groups. But the swap group, I facilitate it. I've put it together, but it's not having anything to do with my business other than I'm overseeing it. It's for donating and swapping fabric. And there's actually a post in there about the Quilt of Valor for this gal. And so you can, or maybe have seen it there, you can possibly ask her questions through Facebook. Um, if I can also facilitate in trying to get you connected with her. <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> um, but we do a monthly swap. And we just got done with the swap for March, the first of the month. I will be announcing what we're going to be doing for the month of April. If it's something you want to participate in, join the group. The comment on the post and then uh, you have until the 10th to sign up. The 12th is when I send out the, the list and you have until the 20th to get your squares in the mail. So right now everyone's starting to get their squares in the mail and it's kind of fun. So you can see the chat that's going on about that. You also can do your own swapping. Um, the group was designed for people like the quilts of valor like i could use donations i need things and there have been a few people that um have other charities are working with or um specialty things and so they just could use some help and some people just really don't have the resources to get the fabric that they need either because they're not near it they're looking for something specific or they just can't afford it and so it's really nice as quilters we're a very giving community um if we can help and someone needs it that's what this group is about. So um, don't abuse it, <laughs> but it's a great group to go in and be a part of. So I do have that. And you can also, you know, do your own swapping. Just say, hey, I I have this. Does someone want to swap me for something else and do just post it on there? It doesn't have to be part of the, the swapping that I am doing. I just have this big swap that I'm facilitating, but you do not have to do it that way oh and just so you know right now our swap the people in the swap group it's different every month but we're averaging about eight people and so if it gets too big i will just divide the group up into sections so you will not be having to share and give fabric to everybody that signs up so don't worry about if there's a lot of people about having to 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 come up with a lot of fabric. Plus my goal is to go through your personal stash. You know, we're gonna try to save some money. That's part of the swap and donate part. <laughs> so um, we're gonna try to keep the cost down. All right. Um, I think we are ready to talk about our winner, huh? Oh, um, on my website, please go and sign up, um, create an account and put your birthday in there. We're gonna start sending birthday coupons. <laughs> So if you want a coupon for your birthday, put that in there and there'll probably be some others. And I want to make a little note. I am working with a bunch of people right now. And if you are one of them and you're waiting to hear from me, this week got away from me. So I will be reaching out to you soon. Um, don't think I forgot you. I actually have a list and I am not letting it um, go by the wayside. So I will be getting back to you on that. Okay, so let's look at the winner. I went through a program. Oh, don't tell me I closed it. That would make me sad. Okay, we have a comment picker, which is the, um, it's a free program that works with YouTube. I told it the video to look at and it knew what we we're looking for. Now remember for the winner, or to, to qualify, well, yeah, to be a winner, you have to be a visible subscriber to my channel. And you have to be over 18, have a U.S. mailing address, and respond to this email. 
or to, to this by sending an email to lynn at softwares.com by next Friday night. Otherwise, they're going to pick another person come next Saturday. Um, but you also had to put in the in the body or somewhere in your text the, for the comments, you had to use the word goodie. And the winner is getting a goodie box. And those are something that are available all the time on my website. And they are big. They're, they're like 12 by 9 by 6. No, they're three inches tall. 12 by nine by six. They're, I keep saying six by three. <laughs> they are awesome boxes that I just pack with whatever I can put my hands on that has to do with quilting. It's not a project. They're not, not things that really necessarily go together, but they're all brand new things that are quilting related to help you build your stash. We're talking fabric, patterns, thread, notions, novelty, whatever I can put in there. You definitely are going to get yardage. And um, it's a really good deal, just kind of random. So that's what that is. And that's what I'm giving away. So it's a $89 value that this person is getting. And I'm going to show you my computer so you can see who the winner is. There we go. It is Amanda Burton. Whoop. Yay! And her little comment said, whenever I hear giveaway, I exclaim loudy, Goody, goody. <laughs> Thank you for your videos. I really enjoy them. You get to see my little messy um, area. This is my working area, my desk ish area. Um, okay, so there is. There is that. I have new fabric coming. I actually have a bunch of freight that I need to open. I'm debating if I should do an opening video. I'm sorry, guys. If I should do a video opening of it or if I should just not bombard you because um, I don't know if you guys really like those. <laughs> I might still do it. I don't know. But I'm, I don't open all my freight online, but um, that might happen. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done, done, done. I appreciate you guys being here. This is a really late video getting out. I have just had so much going on. I don't like the angle. Oh, well. Um, and I apologize. So I am trying to get things back together. And hopefully I'll be back to quilting again. Except I, I'm i having a hard time moving this arm right now. I really have kind of... It's mad at me. It's really mad at me. So quilting might be... Uh, we'll see how I can feel. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Thanks. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, and come back Monday night for the live sale. Don't forget this is a weekly video on Saturdays sometimes I get posted. But thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Go sew something.